Oh. Whoa. Let's see it. Oh. <laughs> Born in the year of the tiger. Wow. <laughs> Chinese New Year has lots and lots of traditions and some superstitions. So on the first day of Chinese New Year, you can't do certain things. You're not allowed to sleep or wash your hair or wash your clothes because <laughs> that washes the good luck away for the year. So the first day, the first New Year day is fun. There's no cleaning. And Kaiki, what are we wearing right now? Red, 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 red. <laughs> Because why? Red is the color of good luck. Yeah. Right? Go red, right, <laughs> <laughs> So if you wear, everybody wears red and gold on New Year's to bring them good luck for the upcoming year, right? And there's lots of decorations and they're all red and gold. Like we have right here, a lot of red and gold lanterns, and, and you saw the dragon. There's the dog, the dog dragon and the dolphin dragon. Yeah, those are all uh, traditions for New Chinese New Year. And on the last day of Chinese New Year, the 15th, there's a big lantern celebration. So maybe we can watch it, huh? Mm -hmm. And during Chinese New Year, there's lots of gifts that are exchanged and snacks and treats that you have. So we have some of them here. We have some snacks that are seasonal for Chinese New Year. And we some treats right here. And some other snacks that we will try later. Mm -hmm. And a good luck fish. Yeah. And during Chinese New Year, people give red envelopes. Traditionally married people to kids and other family members. And the red envelope symbolizes good luck and good wishes. But then there's also something else inside. You want to open it? Yeah. Okay. Happy New Year. Thank you. Hmm. <gasps> money. Money. People put money in the red envelopes. So one of the best traditions about Chinese New Year are the lucky foods. Kaiki, do you want to try the lucky New Year food? Yeah. Let's do it. Come on. This is some of the lucky Chinese New Year food. So it's some of the food that has symbolic meaning that represents luck and prosperity that people eat around Chinese New Year. So really quickly, some of the words for these foods have the same sound as words that mean good luck. For instance, the word for oranges sounds like the word for success. So these are considered lucky foods. The same thing with fish right here 
is the the word sounds like prosperity, and so fish is considered well, lucky as well. This fish? Yeah, fish is so yummy and good for you. Protein. Fish has a lot of protein. <laughs> yes, we didn't fish this, but somebody did. And fish sounds like the word surplus. So eating fish around the New Year's means you'll have prosperity and good luck in the New Year. So these are some of the other lucky foods. We have um, mm -hmm. glutinous rice cake over here in the shape of a fish. We have um, spring rolls and Orange. sesame balls, yeah, oranges, and, and then we have noodles. And the noodles represent longevity. And you want the longer the noodle, Mom, the longer your life. Under Longest noodle. Yeah, so let, do you want to start trying them? Yeah. Okay, try to find the longest noodle. Oh. Whoa. Let's oh. see if. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. <gasps> mm -hmm. That is so yummy, huh? <laughs> mm -hmm. now, can you suck it in? <laughs> Some lucky noodles for New Year. That would have been a really long one if you had ripped it. <laughs> He's a professional noodle eater. Bye. Bye, friends. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. It's stuck. <laughs>